Hey, how's it going, guys? Ben here from Brew Designs. Oh, my nose, also known as 2D Top GFX. Today, I want to do a tutorial on how to make a Minecraft server banner. No one's requested this, I just thought I might do a tutorial today. If you want to see more tutorials, not, not of this sort of thing, just feel free to message me. Or something like that. Or like this video, comment, stuff like that. So, to get started, I'm going to use Photoshop CS6. I might use GIMP, which is a free editor, in another tutorial, but we'll do this for now. 468 by 60 is the dimensions. Press enter, and you get given this sort of canvas. Now, I like to zoom in a bit, so I know what I'm doing. And what I would recommend doing is going to the sidebar here, clicking this, going to panel options and then send the thumbnails to large so you can actually see what they look like. So we're gonna make a few layers, make about six layers, well five, including the first layer. Then get your paint bucket tool, set it to the foreground colour, and we're gonna make it a nice black. Alright? Now we're gonna go on the black. We're going to we are going to right click Blending options, gradient overlay, and we're going to change the white on this side to a nice grey, nice light grey like this. <coughs> Let's be Jesus Christ Almighty. We can do that. Look, look, okay. Now the next thing I'm gonna add is a server a server server name. <coughs> I keep sneezing. Uh so this can be any font you want. I'm gonna use try this one out. I'm just gonna use SAS PvP for the sake of this. Now you want to put this in the middle where you can still have some height Just stand that up a bit uh, it might be worth actually finding the centers with the rulers first Um, you might want to look at a tutorial about how to get the rulers on because I'm clueless about how to. But yep, there we go. There's the SAS PVP logo thing in all its glory. Let's shorten this down just a teeny weeny bit, like so. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use several file types which I'm going to put in the description. Hopefully. Go to effects, wherever they are. There they are. Alright, and then. So I'm, I might try this one first, see what this looks like. Extend it out quite a bit. And once you put it in, make sure you go to linear dodge add. So give it a nice. Alright, now once you've done that, you should have a nice fire up effect in the backgrounds. I'm just going to extend this out a bit, make it look quite nice, like this. That's that's PvP there. And then the next one we're going to add in, maybe some sparks. Which are forever. We use sparks. Sparks, eh? They're the nicest sparks. Extend these out a bit. Press OK. Linear dodge add and hold down Alt to duplicate the layers. Hold down Alt again, I'll make about three of these layers. And hold while holding down Control, click these three layers and then merge the layers. 
So the delineate dodger add again and just change down the opacity just a teeny wee bit. So we have that, which isn't bad so far. Now we can start a text, right click, blending options, and we can go to maybe. Depending on your text, you can play around with these. You can add a stroke, which I may do, just for the sake of this. Look at that. Mm, I'll save that for another tutorial. And we can go to maybe uh, give it an outer glow. Give it this outer glow because I quite like it, and just extend it out just a bit like that. And then click OK. You can add bevel and emboss if you wish, but it's not my sort of thing. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to right click this layer, copy layer style. Now, click on the new layer you created. Get the text layer. And we should already have the font. Alright. I'm just going to put whatever you want. So I'm just going to put PVP in this case. Click OK. Shorten this down a bit. In the center. Like this. That would look quite a lot. So we're going to do PUP, faction raids, drops, because that seems to be the traditional thing. Press OK, right click, paste layer style. Make a new layer, text layer again. PUP, factions, down to about 72, and decrease this loads. may want to pick a better font than this personally I want to use this font so you want to maybe put them at the top left and the top right hand corner it's up to you, it's your banner PvP, factions paste layer style into there that faction looks a bit dodgy. Just decrease this. Okay. Now we've done that. We're gonna do another two more. But just because I'm lazy now, we can just duplicate this layer. Press OK. We'll just drag this down. Press the text there. And then it's a text. So PP factions, raids, or what you can do is hold down while PVP selected, hold down Alt and drag it over. This is a much quicker and more efficient way of doing it. Not like that, of course. Now, if it goes off. You need to drag it back a bit. And if it still looks a bit off, then be afraid to shorten it down just a bit. And if it looks pixelated, it's because you zoomed in on Photoshop. It's going to look a whole lot better once you get out of it. There we go. It's not the best banner, I suppose. Let's actually hide all of these late. Uh, no. I don't have time for this. I don't have time for that. We'll do that in another tutorial. But yeah, that's how you make a basic banner. If you want to see more tutorials like this, feel free to like, comment, and if you feel you want to stay up to date, subscribe. And yeah, thanks guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace. <laughs>